tissue tech, uh, actually biotissue, sells two different types of um, fresh frozen amniotic membranes. On the right is the more traditional cryopreserved amniograft. It's very thin, it comes in different sizes. And I found that it's very, very useful for ocular surface reconstruction. On the left is amnioguard. That's the newer, thicker umbilical cord membrane. And uh, it's dramatically thicker. It's a millimeter in thickness. Uh, very easy to handle, non-sided, comes in different sizes. And that is particularly, in my experience, useful for fornix and palpebral conjunctival reconstruction. This is much, much easier to suture, by the way, than traditional thin amniograft. What's unique about biotissues uh, amniotic membranes is that it retains the properties of fresh tissue because it's cryopreserved. It is not dried. And um, the cryopreservation is really the secret behind this particular product. So amniotic membranes have, um, there are many vendors for them, and, um, and obviously they compete with one another. Amniotic membrane is a good product, irrespective of where it comes from. But tissue text product, because it's cryopreserved, uh, has properties that are unique to it. And we'll go over that right here. So first of all, why would amniotic membrane be helpful for inflammation and fibrosis? So in the fetal environment, we know that amniotic membrane promotes tissue growth and regeneration. Um, and when it's tested, we show it, it's been shown that it suppresses um, T cell uh, activation, suppresses macrophage activation, uh, and facilitates neutrophil apoptosis, which is cell death. So it basically eliminates active autoimmune cells. In addition, it prevents myofibroblasts from differentiating into activated uh, fibroblasts that can drive cytokine expression and um, adhesion and fibrosis. Those are the cells that produce collagen, produce hyaluronic acid, et cetera. Um, it, the matrix itself supports cell ingrowth, and so that's what you need in order to improve cell spread as the cells divide, and it maintains stem cells. There are two general types of hyaluronic acid. The short chain hyaluronic acid, the type that you see dep uh, deposited in, in the orbit in thyroid eye disease, for example, is pro-inflammatory, whereas um, the um, heavy chain uh, hyaluronic acid is anti-inflammatory. And so it's the heavy chain hyaluronic acid that is rich in, in the cryopreserved amniotic membrane. Um, pentaxin is a protein that's involved in the innate immune response and, um, and suppresses um, immunity. Now, testing fresh, meaning uh, what it means fresh, it's fresh tissue as opposed to cryopreserved, which is the uh, biotissue product versus dehydrated, um, you can look uh, with h &E staining, with traditional histologic staining at the thickness, at the connective tissue deposition, the collagen organization, and by comparing, on the left in each panel is amniotic membrane, like amniograft, and on the right is the umbilical cord membrane, that's amnioguard. The amniograft, just looking on the left uh, in each, each panel, what you're seeing is a uh, thin epithelium uh, with connective tissue um, supporting it, and that the um, fresh and cryopreserved are very similar, except that you have some artifact caused by the cryopreservation, but you still have um, very good connective tissue matrix. That is very different from the dehydrated tissue that loses a lot of that structure. Now, when you look at the umbilical cord, that's much, much thicker, as you can tell. And that retains the connective tissue collagen um, organization. And so that's a very big uh, plus for this 
type of tissue preservation. When we look at hyaluronic acid content, and that's in green, what we see is that amniotic membrane on the left has a fresh, has very good hyaluronic acid content, and that's preserved in the cryopreservation process. Um, and that's right here on the left panel in the middle. Um, whereas in the dehydrated, there is some loss of hyaluronic acid. That's even more true when you look at umbilical cord because it is so thick, so full of hyaluronic acid that retains fluid in addition to providing anti-inflammatory effects. And that is preserved. It's slightly packed, but it's, it is preserved in the cryopreserved tissue. So that's really the, the main positive that differentiates mm -hmm. the cryopreserved tissue from the competition, from the competitor. They all work um, to some extent and amniotic membrane use is, is widespread. Uh, but if you really want all the benefits, the cryopreserved tissue is just better. The use of umbilical cord amniotic membrane is a relatively new thing in that everything is just more. It is thicker, it is, has a much higher content of heavy chain hyaluronic acid, um, and it is non-sided. So it could be used in either orientation. You don't have to worry about sightedness. And it provides such a robust matrix for uh, cell spread and uh, recellularization of tissue that uh, it's really, in my opinion, a game changer for some tissue types. 